Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, I am bored, my name is Victor. Um, the goal of today's video was supposed to be the making of a spoon, but it didn't turn out quite as expected, so I've decided to make a butter knife instead, and I was going to make a butter knife out of the spoon, um, <laughs> but that didn't work out either, so... We'll just have to start over. Because of the fact that the spoon failed, I'm kind of out here, just um, getting a little bit of fresh air because, I don't know, everything was just going wrong over and over again, so I kind of needed to take a step out of the workshop and just get some fresh air, you know? And maybe some coffee. Well, I've had my coffee, I've had my fresh air, so, it's time to get back to work. The best thing about uh, butter wooden butter knives is that it is very simple to make. Even in Sweden, it is one of the most uh, common pro projects in woodworking class when you're about like six or seven. Um, at least uh, in the parts where I grew up. So I've made a couple before. And they actually last really long. The one I had, the one I made when I was about seven, so that is about 15 years ago. Uh, my, mo my mom is still using it <laughs> in her house, so, you know, they last. Here is the wooden spoon that we made, and while we could just take this and make it into a knife, I kind of want to start over, just for the sake of the video. For this video... The tools we're going to be using are a saw, knife, and some sandpaper. And we're going to be using some P120. No, wait, P80 and P120. Yeah. Now, butter knives don't need to be very long. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sawing this piece off and we're going to use that. <laughs> Don't worry, this still works. I mean, we're not gonna use this piece anyway, and we're gonna be carving this into a very thin butter knife. I ripped the piece off, and now it's time to uh, set up the tripod, the wooden tripod <laughs> that I made in another video. Um, up around here, we're gonna have an angle upwards, and I'm just gonna carve, the, carve this out. Really all we need to do is to, yeah, you just carve this into like basically a thin wooden plank and then we can shape it. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that, but that's going to take a while, so I'm going to speed things up. It's getting a little bit thinner. It's not completely round anymore, um, but we have to go much further, so I'm going to keep working. Pause the speed up. Just to make sure, so that nobody misunderstands, I said that this is a very common project for children to make in Sweden. However, if you are going to introduce your child to woodworking, um, this is a great project to start with, but make sure you teach them proper knife safety and, you know, how to use a knife. And don't let the iPad teach them. You teach them. Resume. Things are progressing. Hmm. It's looking good so far. Make sure you use a good knife. I'm not, so this is putting a lot of strain on my wrist and also on this thumb 
because sometimes I need to push it to uh, carve out nicer pieces because basically the sharp bit for me is closer to the handle so sometimes I have to help you know uh, get a good knife we're closing in Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. We're getting very close and it's starting to get where we want it to. Ooh. So we are getting closer and closer um, to where we want it to be. And I'm actually going to make sure I don't go too far. I'm just going to get out the shape a little bit more um, or the thickness rather and then I'll move on over to the shape and then the rest of the work is going to be done with sandpaper so yeah you speed up the last little bit Ooh. so now that we have this, the rest of it is actually quite simple. Here, we're going to have a nice little rounded shape like that. And then this is going to become, it's going to go up like this. And then it's going to curve out again, and that's going to be the handle. So I'm going to get this corner off to start with. And this is not going to take any time and it's you know interesting to watch anyway so i won't really speed this up but let's see around this corner here oh uh, all right As I've said before, I really find just working with a knife really relaxing. And I also find it quite soothing to know that should something happen in the world, you know, I have some skill to do stuff without a bunch of specialized tools. So I don't need you know, necessarily a bunch of power tools either. And I can just make my own things, which is also really nice. So, let's see. Yeah, that is coming along pretty nicely. But I kind of want this entire edge off. So, that bit I'm gonna speed up. Okay, so I'm not going to remove any more of that because I feel like I'm just going to mess it up and it's going to end up being too short. So I'll do the rest of that with sandpaper. But now we'll move on to carving out a bit of a handle. So that is just as simple as carving out the blade. So I don't even need to be leaning forward so much.
Hmm. I kind of wish I'd started from the other way, <laughs> other side, and done the handle like that because I have this pit to get through, which is uh, where a branch has gone out, so it's quite sturdy. Uh, because the fibers are aligned and diff you know. <sighs> but with some force, we can easily get that off. Oh, we we're getting somewhere, but let's get a little bit more handle than blade. I'm gonna have sandpaper, then later I'm gonna have to oil this in as well. Hmm. The handle is still too short. The blade doesn't need to be that long. And there we go, we have the shape we want. The rest of the work is going to be done with sandpaper. So, as you can see here, um, and as you saw over there earlier, we have the shape and the next step is to sandpaper it to make it a little bit nicer. So usually you get sandpaper and you get um, a cork kind of block like this and you can just wrap it around. And as you can see, plenty of wood particles are coming off. The reason why we do this is to smoothen it out. Because we don't actually want this to be a knife that could hurt anyone. Kind of rounding all the edges and just making it overall more nice to hold. Making sure I get the edge off so that it's nice and smooth and round. You can also do it like this. This is a really nice, um, relaxing beginner project that you can do if you just have a knife and some sandpaper. If you find, you know, the right size of wood, or if you even have like a plank or something, you know, or a small piece, then you don't even need the saw if you already have something like this. but. If you don't, then you need sandpaper, a knife, and like literally any piece of wood. This is literally taking me maybe like 
20 minutes in total to make. As you can see, I'm rotating uh, the knife in my hand as I'm sandpapering it. Now I'm going to use, for the just a little finishing touch, I'm going to use a P240 sandpaper um, that is even, you know, finer. And there we go. We have a little bit of a butter knife. This is not as good as the one I made when I was a kid. <laughs> However, it is a start and it was definitely a good project for me to hop over until when the spoon failed. So otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get a video out today. So I, I hope you're fine with this and I hope you can forgive me. So, what we need to do now is oil it in. The reason we do that is to help it stand the test of time because the wood will soak up the oil and it will be more resistant to things like water and it won't rot as easily, basically. And for this, let's see here, there it is. I've actually used the same kind of like vegetable oil that you would use in a frying pan. I am not sure if that is going to work, but I've been told that it will. So let's just experiment, shall we? So if you liked the video, remember to drop a like. Uh, it really helps me out. Comment any suggestions for more videos or, um, you know, if you just want to share me up. Ben Hopper 22 thank you for the comment this morning. Really brought up my mood as I woke up quite late and I was quite stressed out. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you want some more. Peace.